And I still remember the day when this plugin gets released, one of my friends contacted me and texted me and he said, Hey Maz, we are gone. We are no more because uh, the XD2 Flutter plugin comes and now uh, we don't have to do anything and we, we would not get paid for anything. <laughs> and I, I was like... Uh, Hi friends, I'm Azaftar from Easy Approach and it's been almost a month I haven't talked to you guys so I decided to come up with the latest video in which I'm gonna discuss a newly announced plugin which is XD2 Flutter and that's actually for Adobe XD which lets you convert your design into real Flutter application. Hmm, that sounds interesting. A plugin by which you can convert your Adobe XD designs into real Flutter application. However, the plugin is still not in his first version, but they rather call it early version now. So it's obvious that we should not expect the most efficient output or the end result, but still we are going to try it. So firstly, we are going to see how we can use that plugin and once we create something using that, then we will do some analysis and we'll see how effective it is and it could be in the future. So let's get started. So firstly, I'm gonna design something on the screen so that I can use it to convert it into real app. But as you know about my designing skills, so I'm not gonna make you feel <laughs> uncomfortable. So what I'm doing, I'm using a wireframe plugin from Adobe XD to make some dummy app designs. So for this, what we have to do, we have to go here in the plugin and we have to choose the wireframe. And if you don't have already, so what you can do, you can install it by clicking here on this add button. And then you can, you can browse and search here wireframe. It's actually wireframer. So you can see it's already installed, but if you haven't installed, you can install it from here. And after installing this wireframer plugin, what we can do, we just have to click here and then we would have a lot of different screen templates and now we can choose anyone to make it available for converting it into a real app. So what I'm gonna do, we have a lot of different screens, but I'm, I'm gonna choose this one, sign up screen. So you just have to click on this add and this would have, uh, this would add this uh, screen so we can use it for converting it into real app. And we can delete this one. The reason of choosing this screen is because it has a lot of different components on the screen. So it has button, it has text fields and it has labels as well. So by choosing this we can do better analysis afterwards. And now as we have designed to convert, now we are going to download XD2 Flutter plugin. For this we have to go back first and then we can click on this add button. And in the browse, we can search for the plugin. We can just write Flutter. And you can see there are a lot of different plugins associated or related to Flutter, but we have to choose this one and we have to install this. So you can see the plugin is installed. And now for converting it, you first have to click on this newly installed plugin which is XG2 Flutter and you have to first go in this UI panel and here we first need to give the Flutter project path so we don't have right now but we are going to make it and after making one we will give the reference of that project over here and then we have the code path it's actually the directory within the project where we have all the files of the project so normally we have all the dot files inside the lib folder so that's why we have to give the lib here. And then we have the image path so if we have any sort of images then we have to give the directory where, you, where your images are stored. But you can see on this screen there is no image so we can just uh, I'll leave this. And then we have uh, the widget name prefix so we can go with xd underscore which is the default one. And then at the loss we have these three checks as well. This is prototype interactions and since we have just one screen so there's no prototype interaction so we can uh, we can leave it uh, unchecked. And then we have resolution aware images. It's still 
uh, we don't have any image so we can leave this as well and then at the last we have export color assets so uh, this is uh, our project is just single is screen based so we don't really need to have this uh, uh, different file for the color assets but uh, maybe we can do it that's all what we have to do first but as I said we have to give here the flutter project path and we haven't made yet so now I'm gonna make a new flutter project for it so let's open the Android studio or whatever you are using and then click on the start new flutter project and like you always make a new project you can make like this so I'm gonna make it XD to flutter or XZ underscore You can give anything. I'm not really good in giving names. And let's go where I have the SDK, it's inside the source. Okay. So now let's create a new project and click on finish. So now you can see the project the project is successfully created and now let's uh, go back to the XD and now let's give the path of the project so I have uh, made the project uh, on desktop and it is uh, XD underscore plugin underscore testing so let's select this folder and now you can see this warning so it's uh, it's saying warning were generated while validating your flutter project could not find dependencies entry in pubspec for adobe xd so for solving this we have we have to install this plugin inside the pubspec.yaml file in the project so let's go on google to find this one so it is called adobe underscore xd and you can just search it by this so here it is So you just have to copy this guy and you have to install in your project pub spec. So this is the project that I've created and inside the pub spec you can just uh, like you do in all the cases. You can just paste this and you can click on packages get. This would install the package and then when we'll click on the export all widgets it would create, uh, it would convert the designs into real flutter application without giving any sort of warnings so now let's click on continue this should create or convert uh, the design into code without giving any sort of warnings okay so we have to click on this export all widgets and you can see here it is written exported one widget and two warnings so we don't have to really look on these warnings and if we go on the project and we go inside the lib so you can see uh, two files the one is for colors and one is for sign up screen so now before doing analysis now let's uh, first open the application so that we can see the output so we have to go in the main and so this is the starting of the application so we can just remove this and instead of giving this my home page widget as the first uh, screen what we can do we can do xd underscore sign up one screen that is the generated screen so this is it now let's uh, run the application
So the application is started and you can see the output. It seems to be identical by some degree, but you can see the UI is not responsive. So anyways, let's take a look at the code and do some analysis. So what I'm doing, I'm going inside the file, which is xd underscore sign up. And let's make it take more space so that we can see everything properly. And if we go through the code once, you can feel that the code is little hard to read. So let's see this. And one of the reason of its being hard is because the plugin using a stack as the parent widget. And for the each individual elements, they are using a transformed or translate for positioning by giving the offset or absolute value. So that is why you can see this thing, the trans, uh, transformed or translate widget all over the places. You can see over here, this one and this one. And if we go a little below, you can see this one again. And here it is. And a lot of this transformed or translates for no solid reason. It's because they are using for each parent widget, they are using a stack. You can see over here, it is a stack. It is stack also. And if we go down there, it is stack also. For each parent widget, they are using a stack. And as the elements inside the stack are overlap, so we got to give some absolute positions to give uh, them a proper position. And what they are doing, they're using transformed or translate for giving the position by giving the offset of the absolute position. So that is why uh, the code is little hard to read. And the second issue with this plugin is that for each individual component on the screen, they are using the same widget. They are just using the container for each of the components that exist on the screen. So for example, see that we have this text field. So it was in the design, but there's no way of recognizing uh, by the plugin that it's actually the text field, but rather they, what they are doing, they are just making containers. For, for example, like uh, for this continue button. So here's the code for the continue button. So it's from here. So if, if, if I minimize this, so this is the code. So it's actually wrapped inside the stack. And if we go inside it, you can see for this blue thing uh, that it's for button, they are using this a container of uh, fixed height and width and for the for for the continue text what they are doing they're actually uh, making another widget which is the text widget that's wrapped inside the transform dot translate for positioning it accordingly uh, on the button so what they are doing they are using text widget so just uh, two widgets uh, actually they are doing it perfect like uh, for the text they are using text widget and for the containers, they are using containers. But for for most of the parts, for most of the components, they are just using containers. So this should be the button widget, but instead of but button widget, it's just the container. And you can find this all over the places. If you if you can click on this, so th there's no nothing happens. It's because this is just a container. It's not a text view. So it's it's just a container with some decoration, and that's what it is. So. This is also the problem in this plugin. Anyways, let's talk about some positive aspects of it as well. Considering this, that it is not even the first proper version. It is just the early version and it is great and producing some output. And if they manage to fix these two major issues like the unnecessary use of transformation widgets and choosing container for each and every component on the screen, it could save a lot of time for front-end developers to develop the UI and it can be a game changer. However, to be honest, and as per my experience, even if they manage to solve most of the issues, still it would not be like this, that you just use plugin to convert your design into UI and just integrate uh, the API and rest of the things. And there we go, you have the complete application. It's still you have to, uh, you would have to do some manual work. But let's wait and see how much uh, they would improve it and how much it would it would get improved in the next version. And I still remember the day when this plugin gets released, one of my friends contacted me and texted me and he said, Hey Maz, we are gone. We are no more because uh, the XD to Flutter plugin comes and now uh, we don't have to do anything and we, we would not get paid for anything. 
<laughs> and I, I was like, uh, uh, it's not possible that uh, it could it could do everything. Still, you don't you have to do a lot of manual work because we have a lot of examples before. Like we have the uh, if if you have work on web development, we have uh, a PSD to HTML conversion, and it was not productive as well. So there are a lot of different examples. So we uh, we can although we can save some some time. I still it, it can be useful in the cases when we have to generate some boilerplate code but it would not be like uh, you can just use a single uh, this plugin and you can just convert and make your application it's still you, you have to do some manual work so this is it in, from this video if you like the video uh, give a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and share the videos with those who want to learn flutter with easy approach so thank you for watching